What's up everyone, welcome back. And um, we're finishing off the MVP box today. Uh, yeah, we've got 10 packs to go. We did find an autograph in the first 10. Fingers crossed we get one in this one. I know you can pull them in this, they're not guaranteed, but you can pull autographs in here. So let's just pray we get one. That'd be a great find if we do. And if it's someone good, obviously. I'd just be happy if we get an autograph, to be honest with you. Um, I really enjoyed the MVP product, actually. I said, pretty sure I said in the last video, I really enjoyed this design. Not the biggest fan of the design that's just come out. But yeah, this design is much better. The cards look way cooler. Although you get the mascot cards in the new one, um, which also look awesome. So yeah, let's see what we can get. And fingers crossed, we can get an autograph or something. Okay, Nick Ritchie. Did he get placed on waivers by Toronto Maple Leafs? And there's Wayne Simmons. And we've got a puzzle back. Alexander Radulov. Hey, there's a cool one. Morgan Riley, die cut out of nine. That's a great looking card. I am going to get that sleeved up right now because this time I definitely remembered the sleeve. Because usually I always forget to have them to hand and they're buried somewhere below in all the other crap that I've got laying around. But there we go, Morgan Riley out of nine, so that's a good one. And there's Blake Wheeler, Mark Stone, and Brian Rust at the end. Yeah, those die cut cards are really cool. I pulled one in the last uh, video, which now I'm looking for it. Obviously I can't see it. I did thought I left it to the side so that I could have it to hand to, to show you all. But I don't. So sorry if you want to see it. There is a photo on my Instagram. I did post one. There's Brock Besser, uh, Sydney Crosby, Crybaby Crosby. I'm joking. I love Sid Crosby. Oh, that's one for my partner, Ruby. Austin Matthews, Supernova. That's a great looking card. Not numbered, but I'm uh, not sure what the odds are of pulling those Supernovas. I might have to check at the end. Uh, Chris Letang and Zach Hyman. Oh no, there's another one at the back. Oh, Peter Mrazek. Yeah, I love Sid Crosby. I'm only joking when I call him Crabby because Crosby's just because I see everyone else calling him it. And it's a funny nickname. I do prefer Ovechkin though. There's always that argument, Ovechkin or Crosby. And I know Ovechkin, um, Crosby's won the more. Stanley Cups with his team. Yeah, I don't know. I just think Ovi's a better player. But that's just my personal opinion. I'm not right. To bring it, he's been great for uh, Blackhawks this season. I'm pretty sure I made a post about him on my Instagram as well, actually. If you want to go and check it out, Instagram link will be in the description. And I post every day on Instagram. About hockey and baseball whatever you want to see. Evander Kane, he's been placed on waivers by the Sharks as well. Jack Eichel, can't wait to see him back with the Golden Knights. Finally, it feels like we haven't seen Jack Eichel play hockey in... I don't know what I want to say because I literally don't know how long it's been. Didn't play last season at all, did he? Let me know if I'm wrong. There's another uh, number card as well, which is pretty cool. Jonathan Durin. I hope I said that right. Nine out of 25. I'm gonna sleeve this one up as well. Any numbered card is a cool pull. That Morgan Riley one is awesome. I'm gonna sleeve up the Austin Matthews one as well, actually, while I'm here. Keep them nice and safe. All right, Dustin Brown. Drew Doughty and Tyler Bertuzzi. I haven't put any rookie cards yet, I don't think. Unless uh, I just haven't been checking properly, but I'm pretty sure we haven't pulled any yet. So hopefully that changes soon. There's Braden Holtby, Artemi Panarin, Connor Hellebuck, Riley Smith, Ty Ratty, there's a, another puzzle back. Martin Jones, and Joe Palveski, and Braden Point. So we got five packs to go. 
Yeah. There's not one rookie pulled yet. Come on. Just give me one good one. Did we pull Quinn, Quinn Hughes the last one? Darcy Kemper. There's Henrik Lundqvist. Silver script of Radulov. Josh Anderson. Man, we are striking out on rookie cards in this, this opening. Or well, maybe they were just all in the other packs and I pulled them all last time. There's Robin Lennon. Chris Tierney. Zuccarello puzzle back. And another net crashes, Nathan McKinnon. These are great looking cards, especially that Nathan McKinnon one looks awesome. We'll put you behind us in Matthews. Uh, Rasmus Darlene and Seth Jones. Wow, three packs to go and not one rookie pulled yet. It usually says it on the front. Unless I've just completely missed them. Tomas Hurtle, Thomas Strabot, Jordan Binnington, Matt Duchesne, Branstrom, Jenny Gord, Bobby Ryan, Tarasenko. Are we going to go the whole video without putting a single rookie? Surely not. And Philip Forsberg starting this one off. Derek Stepan. Nice Quinn Hughes rookie. There we go. Silver script as well. That's a cool one. Probably one of the better rookies to pull out of this one. And a Braden Point. Not numbered this time. Brad Marchand. William Carlson and Severson. So we've got one pack left and we've only pulled one rookie. <clears throat> it doesn't look like we're going to get an autograph either. But it was still super fun to open these cards. I really enjoy this design. I don't know if I'll bother getting this year's one. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll get one box, but I'd much rather get another box of these. There's Tyson Barry. Hey, there's a rookie. Alexander checks here. And go to get to Quinn Hughes, Roman Yossi. And Ryan Pullock at the end. So yeah, that's a pretty cool opening. Numbered cards definitely made up for it. And the Supernova Matthews as well. That's a great looking card. Yeah, and the two MVP numbered cards. Morgan Riley is the best one. And because Morgan Riley's great. But yeah, thanks for checking that one out, guys. Um, hit the like and subscribe, like I say in every video. I'd really, really appreciate it. But also, because next Friday, we got some Tops Japan edition coming up. And the insert cards on these are absolutely mind-blowing. They look so good. So yeah, you'll definitely want to see this one. So yeah, thanks for checking out, guys. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.